Hi, I'm Barmy, and this is the Pokemon Platinum Petlock. The Petlock is a Pokemon Nuzlocke with all of the normal Nuzlocke rules. You may only catch the first Pokemon you encounter each route. If a Pokemon gets knocked out, you must release it, and you must name every Pokemon you catch. But there's one bonus rule. Stream viewers sent me pictures and names of their pets in our Discord server, and every Pokemon is named after one of those pets, making it hurt so much more when one of them dies. Welcome to the Pokemon Platinum Petlock. Where am I? Is this a new area? Level 40? Holy shit, that's kind of intense. <clears throat> I'm scared of the next gym. Do you guys know why I'm scared of the next gym? Because we can't use Miller. Right? Like, every single gym so far, we have just won by spamming Miller. And we just cannot use Miller in the next gym. It's an electric gym. Miller is just gonna get killed. It's not a good, not a good look. Ah, Route 214, that's where we are. All right, very good. Can I go down here now? Why can I never go down there? Kind of wild. Okay, let's go to a Pokemon Center. Where are we going anyway? Sand Gem. Okay. Can you guys look that up really quick? You leave me speeches. You've done it. You've really done it. Yes, I did. The free Pokemon of the lakes appear to have returned to their homes. 163. That's pretty good. Why not challenge the Pokemon League? Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. Yeah, why not? Alright, Eternal City next to Pokemon. There we go. Here? This guy? Name Raider. Yes. There we go. So, what do we name it? We gotta pit, uh, pick a uh, pick a bet here. Oh, look at this one! Oh, look at that one! That's a very good one. <laughs> We've got some cats. We've got a bunny. Oh, this is bacon. Oh, there's so many good cats and doggos and and this is Pokipo, by the way, in case you didn't know. There's a shadow. Let's go with let's uh, here we go Oreo. I think let's go with Oreo. That's a food as well. And I think if Oreo, if that bunny was a you know godlike deity or like a godlike Pokemon, then <laughs> no. Could end the world anytime it wanted to, then it would. Alright. We're gonna have to restock. What I'm looking for is I wanna go shopping. Catch the fairies. Do we care? Do we wanna capture the lake trio? Like, I don't know. I don't think we really need to. Um, 
So Pokipo is going to be our number one for this. With Oreo being our number two. Coco and Miller is gonna, are just going to have to take a... I was just going to have to take a step back. Okay. No, that's not what I want. I am looking for... Nope. This stuff. Yes. I'm just gonna take like... 10 of each. Right. It's not like they're particularly expensive. And I just want to have them. Accuracy. I'm not a big fan of gambling for crits. Alright, very good. You know what? It's okay. We can just get potions at a regular Pokemon. Alright. So we're gonna get some potions. Yeah, why not? Probably don't need that many of those. Hyper potions will be plenty. We'll never need max potions. Like, max potions are really, like, when you get near level 100. That's when those start mattering, but before that... Hyper potions will do it. All right, cool. All right, we can finally get in here. Route 222. All right, let's try it. <sighs> Luxray. Perfect. I mean, this is what Pokipo is all about. Swagger me. All right, Pokipo. Just wreck the nerd. No, oh, Pokeball. This is not a good start, my friend. This is not a good start. Ah, there we go. That's better. <sighs> yeah, I'm still quite worried about this. Uh, this next gym here. Because as much as I love Pokeball, and I think we all love Pokeball, but uh, my faith is still running a little low. All right, let's see what we get. Pelipper. Well, that's actually kind of an interesting boy, isn't it? Okay, we swap here. Let's try out what Oreo can do here. So we don't want to kill, which is going to be the big problem. Looking pretty good. Alright, let's get it. Cool, very good. Do we not have any birds in our channel? Okay. Give a nickname. So, what do we have? Ollie. Why not? Has some Pelipper energy, doesn't it? Okay. I'm just dodging these fights. It's probably not a good idea. Is this the next town? So even to that, there's still a bit of time left. Mingle. 
toxic. Yeah, go fast. Outspeed my Quagsire. <laughs> Do it. Oh, damn. Really? I'm blown away by the fact that that killed. I guess I'm really not giving Quagsire enough credit. Cool. Choke. <clears throat> but yeah, there's just honestly not gonna be much news on Chroma, right? Be not Chroma, sorry, God. Somebody asked about Chroma. How's Chroma coming along? Chroma's released, you can play it if you want. Alright, we're working on Alex now. So there's probably just not gonna be any, use, uh, any news on Alex. Because what news is there, right? It's just we're working on it. And sure, I could post stuff that's work in progress. And I probably will put a little bit out there. But here's the problem. It would be spoilers. Right? Like anything I show you will be spoilers. And, you know, for something like Chroma, I don't really think that mattered too much. Like, that's okay. Right? Like, spoilering game mechanics and all of that is fine. But for something like Alex, I feel like, wouldn't it be more fun if you guys, like, experienced the stuff fresh? You know, without me showing it ahead of time. Oh, who are you? Your Pokemon are secure inside the Pokeballs, but there's no masking that aura of serious toughness. My name is Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon's Elite Four. Pokemon League's Elite Four. It's about this town's gym leader. He really lost his enthusiasm lately because there's been so few good challenges worth his time. He's been so bored, he spends all his time renovating the gym. You don't know where I'm going with this, do you? <laughs> I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. Okay. Sure, let's do it, buddy. Okay. So then... I'm a little scared. But let's do it. Is this the gym? Here's the gym. Oh, he's not here. Where did he go? What do I have to do to bring him back? Oh, I guess he's not. Obviously not here. This is very fancy. Hello. So you're the latest challenger. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. Okay. Let's do it, buddy. I'm down. Okay, well, that just looks a little weird. That feels like maybe a bit of a graphical error. Yeah, um... Should we... Should we bench Coco and Gyarados for this? Hmm... No. They can still fight. They still have Earthquake and Return. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. Hey there, how's it going, Jam to be? Let me check out your trainer case and see how many batches you have. Woo, we got seven. That means if you can beat this gym leader, you're on your way to the Pokemon League. It also means this is the last time I get to give you advice. This is it, kiddo. Listen carefully. 
The gym leader here is a mass of electric type Pokemon. That's all I have to say. Well, fuck you. <laughs> what? Well, that was, that was super helpful, buddy. Thanks. Okay, I'm already feeling alone. Ah, there we go. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha, I got it. Alright. Can you make it to the gym leader? Uh, let's see. I'm down. I, I want to see too. Pachi Risu! Alright. Pachi doesn't get... Doesn't get Grass Nod, right? Super Fang. Alright, that's fine. Obviously, we can take a Super Fang. That should do it? Pachi doesn't really have any stats, right? Good! Pokipo! Such a fun name to say, isn't it? That is such a fun name to say. Okay then. Hmm. I guess I can just come in here and fight you. Okay. Pachirizo won me GC though, didn't it? 2014. Yeah, but that's not because Pachirizo is good. It won because it was it's it's a very, very specific niche Pokemon. And the guy using Pachi is a goddamn genius mastermind. Who realized that Pachi was like the only Pokemon in the game that fit this hyper specific niche that was like a counterplay to a counterplay to a counterplay. And then built his entire team in a way that made it so that Pachi was usable. Like it was it was a high risk gamble. But it worked out. But that doesn't mean Pachi is like actually good. Pachi is just very specific. But sometimes that specificity can be good. Alright. So we come in here. We go over this. Alright, hello. So basically massive Yomi level. Yeah, so I mean I can explain it in a bit more detail if you want. But basically, at VGC 20, I think 14, the best... So, okay, in VGC, it's doubles, right? So it's two versus two. By the way, if I get any details wrong, wrong, uh, please uh, speak to my lawyer. So in VGC, it's doubles, right? So you play two versus two. What that means is that um, certain support moves that aren't really useful in singles are really good in doubles. So, for example, um, something called Rage Powder or Follow Me. These are essentially the same move. Well, what they do is they make it so that all opposing Pokemon attack the Pokemon using the move as opposed to uh, whatever else they were going to attack. Of course, that's not useful at all in singles, but in doubles, you can use it to redirect attacks, which is really good. And in VGC 2014, there was one particular Pokemon called Amoongus. Yes, like Among Us, but with an additional O. And Amoongus was the best support Pokemon because it had it had Rage Powder, which was amazing, and had a bunch of other stuff that was really good. Now, here's what's really important. Amoongus has uh, a problem, and that is that it is easily taunted. So, taunt is a move that what it does is it makes it so that a Pokemon can't use any non-attacking moves. 
right? So Among Us is pretty much all non-attacking moves. It has like an attacking move and it has Protect, Spore and, um, and Rage Powder usually. And that's just all non-attacking moves. And as a result, because Among Us was so popular, everybody was running Taunt to counter Among Us. Right? So what do you do now, right? Your Among Us is getting countered. But Among Us is really good. Like, Among Us is so good that people were playing it even though everybody was countering it. And that's where Pachi Rizu comes in. Pachi is a little different from Among Us. Pachi is worse, just straight up worse. But it has some unique properties that made it a good choice. The first unique property that Pachi has um, well, the, the first thing Pachi has, which is really important for this, is that it has uh, Follow Me, which is essentially the same thing as Rage Powder, right? So it redirects an attack to Pachi, which is really useful. You can use it to protect allies. Then it has Protect in the moveset, and then it has two additional moves that are really important that made Pachi actually viable. And those are Super Fang and, um, and Nussle. Super Fang is, we actually just saw a Pokemon here use Super Fang. Super Fang is a move that makes it so that whatever your Pokemon is attacking just loses 50% of its current HP. That is really powerful, right? Amoongus can't do that much damage. No matter how hard Amoongus tries, it will just never be able to do damage comparable to that. Because Pachi, even if it has absolutely no investment in attack, and even if it had investment in attack, it wouldn't be strong. Uh, it's just percentage-based. It just does 50% of your opponent's HP in damage. So you just chomp away at them. Meaning if Pachi gets taunted, it can actually do damage, which is something Amoongus can't really do. If Amoongus gets taunted, it just starts being kind of useless. The second thing Pachi had is Nussle. Nussle is essentially Thunder Wave. It's a move that has 20 base power, it doesn't do any significant damage. And it's kind of a move that's sort of unique to the Pikachu clones. So Pikachu has it, um, Pachi has it, like all of those guys, all of the Pikachu clones have it. But Nuzzle has a, is a 20 base power attack that has a 100% chance to paralyze your opponent. And that's the important thing here. It's an attack, right? So what Among Us does is it spams Spore, which is a 100% chance to make the opponent fall asleep. But it's not an attack, it's a support move, which means it can get taunted. And when you're taunted, you can't use it anymore. But Pachi has Nussle. Is Paralysis as good as Sleep? No. But it's not significantly worse. It is fine. So Pachi, if it gets taunted, can actually continue to be a threat. And that's what made it really different from Among Us. It could fill the same role, worse, but better if taunted. And that's why Pachi was good, because everybody was running taunt to counter Among Us. So Pachi, if it ran into those Pokemon that were there to counter Among Us, was just stronger. I assume I can't run into, oh, I, I can, right? Pachi was stronger in the specific circumstance that you ran into somebody countering Among Us. I'm confused. Like this? Ah, there we go. Because it could still attack if it if it got countered. And that's why Pachi was a genius pick. And it's really important to understand here that Pachi wasn't a genius pick because the guy was just the only one that saw that Pachi is actually secretly a great Pokemon. It's not. But the guy was the only one that saw that Pachi just fits perfectly into this metagame. Because it can do what Amoongus does, worse, but better when Amoongus gets countered. And everybody is countering Amoongus. It's brilliant, honestly. It's one of the smartest things I have ever seen in like any eSport. It's just absolutely brilliant. And the guy, guy won the World Championship as a result.
which is super cool, right? Absolutely 100% deserved. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm down here now. And what now? Okay. I'm assuming I can now go back up here. Ah, there we go. Ah, okay, very good. All right. Um, we will Efa again. Do I only have Max Efa? I just don't want to like have to go all the way out of here again. All right, restore Earthquake. Oh. Well, so far it's actually been going smoothly. We've just been earthquaking every single thing. I heard this guy is tough, so I'm I've been terrified for a while now. Um we will protect. No, it's probably just yeah, it doesn't this thing doesn't have a grass move. It doesn't matter. We can just kill it. Shit! Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> oh. This is very annoying. Okay. This is a special attacker. We're gonna protect really quick, see what's going on. Focus Blast. We can take Focus Blast. Critical hit. Pokipo! Let's go, my buddy. Electivire. Ah, oh, shit! Honestly, the loss, like the, the defense loss, is just so annoying here. This would have been so easy without that. I think we use a potion first. We gotta go back. We gotta use the defense. X defense here. The good news is that um, we have a shit ton of defense. Like our thing is just super bulky. Alright. No, that does nothing. I'm gonna just use another one. We could even use X speed to like try and outspeed it. We're gonna be the fastest Pokeeper. All right. Okay. I don't know why this guy is just spamming quick attack, but I'm down with it. Hyper potion. Yes, Pokipo! God. What a legend. Alright, we're now at plus two, uh, plus two speed and plus one attack. Crit doesn't do anything. And plus one defense. That you clean it. Nice. Level up, Pokipo. Level 53. That's my buddy. Muddy water. No, thank you. Our moveset is actually god to you. This is your trump card? Oh. <laughs> Outspit. Outspit by a quack, sire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Outspent by a quack, sire. Oh, get your luck ray out of here. We did it! Yes! We got all the badges! 
And Pokipo actually just did the whole fucking gym. Not even a problem. Okay, yeah, give me Waterfall already. I've been waiting for it. Charge Beam. Well, Charge Beam is actually pretty good. Wait, how the hell do I get out of here? Okay. Alright, let's... Let's get out. <sighs> how nice is this? I say we go heal. If I can find the gym. Ah, the gym, the pocket center. There you go. Ah, very good. We heal up. And I think next up, gonna be the lead four, my friend. And that concludes episode 9 of the Pokemon Platinum Padlock. In the next episode, are we strong enough to take on the Pokemon League? Will the lead four be a match for Miller? Or will Pokipo continue to be our champion? That and more in the next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Padlock.